enemies. You can't disarm an enemy if you don't know he is your enemy. Welcome to today's ZDRX. I've been talking about cure for causes, and there are a lot of them. In fact, we are just getting into the nitty gritty. I also have in the studio today um, favor. Thank you, sir. Um, so I want to thank you for your teachings so far. I have watched them and I enjoyed them. Thank and you. And they are very educational and helpful. Thank you. So, but I have a question for you. And my question is, how do we break a personal cause? Okay. Uh, we can break a personal cause. In fact, you can render the effect of a cause harmless. You don't sit idly and fold your arms. You have to do something. And one thing about causes, I've said them over and over that they are so subtle, so hard to distinguish, so cloaked in darkness. But you as an individual, you must bring it into the limelight. Uh, so causes can, can be broken. Uh, you, we need to call a cause a cause. <laughs> shared about some of the symptoms and signs. If you've discovered a pattern in your life, you know, identify them, call it a cause. You can't disarm an enemy if you don't know he's your enemy. So one thing about cause is that a cause is your enemy. Proverbs 6 verse 5 says, deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the otter and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. So do your part and God will do his own part. So one thing is that you have to first look at yourself, identify them uh, and bring them to the limelight. Uh, there, are ho there are a lot of ways which I, I'm going to be talking about them in the coming days. Um, you know, but you have to, for example, you can meet a mentor, you know, you can go for deliverance service. I'm going to be talking on other specific things from the uh, in the coming days. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. So you can effectively and permanent, permanently break the curse, but you need the unction, you need the anointing. You first need to identify them. So. The first thing to do is spiritual appraiser. Also look at yourself. Check some of the pattern, especially in your lineage, in your family, in your life. And once you've identified them, I'll be talking on some specific ways from tomorrow. So stay tuned. Let's say blessing together. Ezekiel 34 verse 26. I will make them and the places all around my ear a blessing and I will cause showers to come down in their season. There shall be showers of blessing. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs>